bit hot. It's a bit coincidental. We've just watched Wanderlust and you're taking Ooh. your clothes off. Oh, there was nothing about that that turned me on. No, no, I'm not saying there was, but it turned was all about off. being turned on and turned off. Yeah. So the new Tony Collette series on BBC One. You don't have to whisper the kids are awake. Oh, all right. Don't mention SEX. Um, tell us about your moment with Tony Collette. You really liked her, didn't you? I love Tony Collette. She came on Loose so Women. So jealous. And um, her and Drew Barrymore. Yeah. And they were one of my favourite guests. They I were, think. weren't they? She's just, oh my Is God. Is she very real? Yeah, she's just lovely. Yeah, she looks they good. didn't have like a team or an entourage yeah, or anything. Yeah. They just turned up, were mortified because they were late because the traffic had been horrendous. That's so cool. They were like just late. Really they were stressed nice. in a car. Worrying, I know but... they'd be my friends if I had time to. Do you know what them. I like about Tony Collette? She's got really normal teeth. Got law with everything. And of course, she is brilliant in a film that Nadia would never go and see, Hereditary. I mean, brilliant. I've seen the trailer, she's fantastic in it. Oh my God, she's brilliant. She's so good. Anyway, so I was intrigued by this. This has been trailed quite a lot over telly. Wanderlust. The word Wanderlust. What did I write down? It's uh, something to do with, I wrote down what it meant, but I can't find it. Uh, oh, a strong longing or impulse for wandering. Mm. That's what comes up at the beginning. Yeah, wonderful. So let's get off with it. Let's yeah. kick off. Let's get it off. Let's tug it off. Oh, sorry. Um, so this starts with uh, a car crash scene with uh, Tony Collette, doesn't it, on her bike. Mm -hmm. um, she takes a knock, she's injured, she's on crutches, and then we quite quickly have a sex scene. Uh, which we had to turn the volume off on because Nadia gets a bit squeamish about Amy these things. Feels sick. She might talk about all sorts of naughtiness on loose women, but when it comes to the actual rub of the matter, sorry I had to use that analogy, she has to turn the volume down. I think you found most of this programme quite squirmy, didn't you? Squeamish? I just don't like watching other people have sex. Anyway, Stephen McIntosh plays Tony Collette's husband. They He's a very good actor, but he is so unattractive. Right, okay. Poor old Stephen. Anyway, I, th I thought he was very good. He was very good in it. Anyway, so they're a couple. She's a therapist. He's an English teacher. Um, very middle class. Uh, and clearly, when we turn the volume back up, we discovered they've hit a bit of a compatibility hurdle in the bedroom, which I think is a problem that most people could relate to. Everyone goes it's through it. It's so cringy. Point. I can't believe we've now got to talk about <laughs> it or having <laughs> watched it. I'm like, literally like, oh, God. Um, and then when she tries to jazz it up, oh my God, it's so crippling,ly embarrassing, and it's just oh god. Well, jazzing it up is a thing people do. That awful outfit. That it wasn't. Awful a, it wasn't thing a good that outfit. Women have to do where outfit. they go and put outfits on and have to pretend they're somebody completely different. Have you? Have you never done that? Oh my god, it literally <laughs> made me feel sick. And then he just turns it down in the most monumental way. I have to say, it's all really good. This. Six. I mean, but can I just say that I think that the awkwardness of it is so well observed. You can yeah. get you can get awkward crap like yeah. Fifty Shades, but then you yeah. get awkward because it's real. Yeah. And there's a reality to their performances, yeah. which I think is very strong. Um, I was drawn into, we had a very powerful first scene uh, with Tony Collette as a therapist, where this couple Ooh. comes in and the wife can Ooh. talk. Now the chap, whose name I forget, but he is the lead actor in a brilliant British horror film called Ghost Stories. He was remarkable. Oh, he broke our heart. He broke he? My, broke our heart. Just it's, check it out and, and see his performance. It's a great scene because he sat there with his wife because she's a couples therapist. Yeah. And his wife sat one end of the sofa and he sat the other. Actually reminded me of that really. It really good. reminded me of the that? woman with the hairy face. The woman that we went to see that neither of us liked, one yes. of our couples counsellor, and I thought we were actually going to break up. Because of her? Well... <laughs> Uh, I was so well, no, you thought that if we pissed stayed with off her. with you, oh. and then she pissed me off, and it oh, was Christ. so. Yeah, I felt like you were aligning me with her. Miserable. When you the off. whole experience was so miserable. That particular counsellor. It, it was just... dark. It was. Miserable. And then one day we came out, didn't we? We just went. Should we not, Should we not go, go there again? anymore? Well, it didn't feel like it was helping. And we went. Yeah, let's not go there and anymore. Then, and it didn't feel like it she was, was helping. Awful. But anyway, this scene was incredibly powerful, and I thought it was one of the one probably one of the best depictions I've seen of couples of counseling. Couples counseling. Really I good. thought he was very, her very powerful. Her sitting the other end with her loneliness and she's a good yeah. actress. She's quite a well-known actress so I suspect we're going to see quite a bit more of this. Yeah, those absolutely. Two. And I thought She was... didn't say a word in this episode but she obviously no. will. And I thought it was very neat because often, you know, when you think of shows like The Sopranos and there's been another one where they use the whole shrink thing where you sit down and you use it as a sort of narrative yeah. device. I thought this was like neatly done in that it wasn't sort of really earmarked or kind of bookmarked or signposted. It just they just happened and because there was another scene with a youngish guy that I thought was very powerful where he talked about his dream. I thought I have to say it's one of the few uh, dramas I've seen on television in recent years where every small part played by everyone was brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. 
The neighbour? What about the neighbour bringing the How cakes How they got over? Tony Collette anyway to do it, but then obviously they were just... They thought, well, we've got Tony Collette, let's make sure every other actor is brilliant and lives Tell up us to about her English accent. Oh, uh, phenomenal. I've never heard a foreigner do That's a better English said. accent. That's what she said. Straight I just from the horse's mouth. It. She was rolling around on the floor doing stretches, going, I can't watch, I can't watch. My God, her accent's brilliant. What I'm saying. That's what she was saying. That was real live a minute ago, just over there. Um, there's the son. There's the son who's. You thought he was a bit old? Looked a bit old. Mm. I like the son. I love it's the way good. he's connecting with this other girl at school yeah. and he's trying to flirt through the through the lens of Jonathan Franzen novels. I could relate to that. That was quite cool. Um, so she gets back on her bike, quite literally, and it seems to me that once Tony Collette gets back on her bike, she gets her mojo on the sex front. She goes to aqua aerobics and a scene developed, which is probably my potentially worst nightmare of her wandering off and effectively having a romantic liaison with a complete stranger in her class. Oh, it's so wonderful. Meanwhile, her husband was having a liaison with a was, teacher at his school. I thought that scene was so he funny. He gets stoned and they have sex. And but it was what really about really that good. scene where so she's much younger, his colleague at school? And, but they were dancing to Warren G and the way he really went with it. it I thought really he was very, scene. very good. Him getting stoned really good was scene. And very, I love that within good. 36 hours they've both been unfaithful. Yeah. And, you, and you do think that this is the first time that they've ever been unfaithful to each other. And it's yeah. brilliant. Because they're both lying in bed guilty. And there's lots of surprises. That's mm. what I love. Nothing was predictable in the episode. Because no, out of the blue, he confesses he to having slept with the teacher and says everything. And then she confesses she slept with the guy from the well, aqua aerobics club. I won't say exactly what she did with him, but it was a little bit more sort of yeah. perfunctory and it's brilliant. than that. And then this wonderful, again, completely unpredictable, this wonderful scene then is born out of this where she says, listen, I did it because I don't like sex with you anymore. It's boring. I know, but that is a line that every, I don't enjoy having sex with you. I mean, is that a line you'd hate to hear from me? Mark, we're not talking about it's a, it's a line However hate, much that's you a line want I'd to, hate to hear from you. We are not going to spend this series <laughs> reviews talking about no, us. No, no, well, yeah, but no. Yeah, but our lovely followers would love no. to get a little bit of us in No, there. it's not happening. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you just like a little bit? It's not happening. Our children watch everything on social media. Well, we're not actually talking about it's it. Not but I'm saying you would hate so, to hear that, though. So, Excuse me. Um, yeah. But, yeah, hang on a minute. So, let's just scroll back a bit. There was the scene where she had a very big O. Please... If I've got to watch this and then I've got to talk about it, I'm going to be sick. But what did you think of her acting? Yeah, it's just all very to, good. Just talk us very through, good. Talk us through the, 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 what she would have had to have gone through to perform that. I don't that. Is that want hard? to. <laughs> very difficult to do, though, isn't it? Very difficult. Anyway, I thought she did it very well, and it was on a par with um, When Harry Met Sally. It wasn't. That was the worst <laughs> acted at orgasm but ever, I bet When you Harry any money, Met Sally. But I bet you any money, this orgasm will be the most talked about orgasm in tomorrow's newspapers. Well, Everyone will be talking about it. I don't know it. why everyone's talking about it. We've seen this a Who's million times. Who's been talking times. about it with you? Everywhere on the new, in the newspaper, they go, oh, the first time. No, it's not. We've seen a million like it's that. It's kind of a biggie. It is not the first O on Ted Bridges. It's not the first O, but it's, it's, it's a big, nonsense. it was a biggie. And it was Tony nonsense. Collette with normal teeth having an O. I thought that was quite cool. There was another wonderful scene, just a couple of other little shout outs. There's a wonderful scene with the neighbour who came round with her polenta. Was it polenta? Penali. Yeah. She was so good. Which, not only was she so good, but there was one moment, did you notice it, when Tony Collette is listening to this woman sharing about the fact that she's and her husband are watching porn to try and sex up their sex life. She was brilliant, this neighbour. But there was one moment when Tony Collette tasted it. Did she like what she was tasting or did she not like? Well, she had some more. I thought that was brilliant, the way she looked, wasn't that? She's such a That's practice. so subtle. She's so good. Check out just that moment. It's three seconds and it's brilliant. Um, it's very late. No, she's, no, she's a bit tired. Um... What, what are the, some of the other things that... Uh, what did well, you think? There's a, early on, actually, we've missed, early on in the episode, one of the teachers, the teacher that our husband has sex with, walks in to teacher the common there. room oh, yeah. and there's a teacher. Oh, there's yeah. there's another, another teacher, teacher having a wank over a, a catalogue. Catalog, an underwear catalogue. And I'm not going to say any more about that because that made me feel so sick. There was some very... Well, if I'm really honest, there were some very sick-inducing moments. That was pretty sick. But that was also the... Te that teacher was the husband of the woman the neighbour who came round with the... Made the cannoli. The, but made unless the cannoli. you've seen it, that wouldn't mean anything Anyway, to. anyway. I liked the music. I thought the music was really nice. I thought at times at the beginning it was a little bit Patrick Melrosey in its use of graphics and its, its sort of di quite dynamic editing and the way it was shot. So, all in all, it was an awkward watch, but I was more awkward because she was awkward. If she hadn't been there, I wouldn't have felt awkward at all. 
I like Tony Collette. I didn't feel awkward. I just felt a bit nauseous, but I love the episode and I love the series and I'm praying to God next week doesn't have as much sex. But don't me. you think it flags up? I, I can see why the BBC have commissioned this. Don't you think it flags up? Go, it goes to the heart to what, what a lot of people mm. must feel. I mean, we're incredibly lucky. If you start, we <laughs> won't be reviewing the rest of this series. <laughs> what? I'm saying don't... a nice thing. What? I was saying an there affirmatory are some thing. Things. Anyway, Don't. anyway, I thought it was a very promising start. Yes, and we'll be watching it next week, so tune in. But and if you are watching yeah. this on YouTube, which of course you are, because this is not a podcast, <laughs> don't forget Where to hit the subscribe it? button and the notification bell. Say subscribe again. Subscribe. Subscribe button. Yeah, anyway, we will be checking this out. We're also thinking of watching, was it the post or the news or the press or whatever this new one's the out press later thing. in the week? Yeah, mm. and we are going to do Ozark, we promise you. Yes. We just need to find three hours to scratch our yes. heads. Bye. Bye. So you know about that big O. Mark. Do you think?